It's been a long time since uh, I've done a race this year and the last time it was in winter I was using this tyre which is incredibly knobbly. It's a, a Midas XT754 but it has enormous blocks on it. 20mm blocks about there, no, 18 mil blocks and it's really good for in the winter with all the slop but come summer like it is now and this tyre is a liability it's it's terrible on hard pack so I've gone on eBay and looked for the cheapest enduro tyre and it's this one it's a V-Rubber unsurprisingly VRM211 there's not much mentioned on the internet about it. Trailbike magazine reviewed it years ago and said it was the best one for the price. I think this one was £37. This one was about 55 A Michelin one will cost you about 75 I couldn't find the size I wanted, which was a 140... Uh, 80, I think? 18 inch? This is a 120, 90. 18 inch, so it's, it's a bit narrower than I wanted. This is also one, oh, this is 120, yeah, this is 120 90, but it's got quite big edge blocks which make it look quite wide anyway. But this one, I don't know, it doesn't have much aggressive side blocks and it does make the tire look a bit narrow, but it should be okay. And the tread depth, uh, it's road legal and FIM compliant, so what's that, about 13mm? It's about 13mm. And the block spacing is roughly 30, 30mm? 35, 35ish mil. This one is much bigger. Well, well, yeah, well you get the idea. The narrowest it's 30. At the largest it's yeah pretty monstrous. 80 mil. Yeah, 80 mil across there. One thing I've noticed is the compound is quite soft. This one's soft as well. That yeah, that's definitely softer. That's probably why they haven't lasted that long. That's four hours of riding there, racing. Um, but yeah, this is definitely softer than the other V-Rubber tyre I've got. And this has got a moose in there. There's a Midas 120 90 moose. I'm going to use it in there and see how it fits.
now that the tyre's mounted up, you can see it's quite a rounded one in comparison to the that one there. The edge blocks, well, there aren't much of them, at least they're not uh, aggressive. And it does seem a little narrow. Um, I don't think I've ever used a tyre this narrow in the try. But it should be okay. And for 37 quid, I can't really complain. But if possible that wheel's not aligned properly. It looks like it's off by a few mil. Yeah, I'd say that's not aligned properly. This tyre is probably the narrowest tyre, rear tyre, I've ever had on this bike. It's quite, yeah, it looks quite small now. Also sorted out the alignment a bit better. It was definitely off to the left. But yeah, this is the narrowest tyre I've ever had on here. I've had tyres so big they were coming up close to the chain. This is massive.